little bit of morning motivation to start the day. You know, too close when your clothes start smelling funny. So I'm back here at the farm. I got the case warming up with the cattle trailer, cleaning the steer barn out today, and our steer fence is um, questionable. If I let them out, they're gonna run through it. So we gotta load them on the trailer, and then we'll clean the pen, bed it, which will take an hour. And it's cold out today, so they'll be plenty fine. But I left my gloves in the 7130 yesterday, so I need to get them. They say better be in here. I was milking this morning, and when I got here, I remember they were down here, but I didn't bother coming to get them then. Oh yeah, looks like I need to do some cleaning as well. Look a little rough. I was debating on starting a skid loader in 7410 as well. And it's 20 degrees outside, so I really hate getting the cold equipment. Let these glow plugs cycle. I'm gonna try and load these up by myself. I've done it before. Let's see if I can do it again. Okay, they're on the trailer. I'm gonna walk over and get the spreader, bring it over here, and then get the skid loader. Okay, tractor's here. Now for the skid loader. Okay, it's pretty heaping. One side fit on, that was the goal. Cause this is the, the bigger side by just a little, I think. And we should easily get this side on another load. Working on this field from yesterday.
Christmas. We're all done. Time for the stairs to get back home. Hold on, guys. The door's gonna come back in. Hey, you're not escaping. All right, get out. Come on, guy. You hated it in there the most. The one left. All right, let's go get rid of this load. Out here surveying the field for hog holes. Day two of chisel plowing. I got quite a few done. Probably maybe a third of the way done. This with the whole is farm. Hits 2024. All your favorite. Jeez. Freaking ads. How you get rid of an ad like that? Go right back into it and it'll start playing. This is why these cover crops have benefit to the soil. But look at that root ball on this one plant here. That's um that's like four inches of roots deep. And maybe I cut them from the bottom too, so you might might not be the whole plant. There's the worms, poor worm. But yeah, that's a root ball of the cover crop back in there right up well i want to get some of these clumps that flew into this grass field out because we don't need them going through the hay bind rocks in it and stuff as you can see i said about this being shale ground yesterday yeah look at that rock rock this is all just rocks <laughs> this field being as rocky as it is under the surface and it dries out pretty easy. We grew 60 bushel beans last year, which ain't terrible for this field. out the tanks because I don't know what was previous in there before I had it and I don't want to run any of that through my pump I don't know what it is so we need to rinse up tanks out I uh, adjust some closing wheels left and right there's some that are off get that squared away but other than that the planter is ready to go all the technology is working talking to the tractors talking to the planter so we just need to get that other stuff squared away some guy had an idea last week about spread manure down here in this bottom and that's what he did and that guy is talking to you guys right now yep that was me so we're gonna we're gonna drop the plow in and fix this
gotta take this equipment back from this morning back to the shed. Parker's hauling around um, some feed. Tell everybody on YouTube how big you really are. So big. <laughs> it's really cold out today, isn't it? Let's show everybody your gloves. You have your gloves on? You got your gloves on? Yeah. So some of you may wonder why I was chisel flying that little square area or rectangle after I just told you either this morning or yesterday that we don't really do that. I was doing that because I hauled probably 20 loads or 30 loads of manure over that same exact spot and there wasn't nothing going to grow in that. As you could tell from the video, that was some tight solid ground. So we were tearing that up to get her fluffed up here before planting so it's not as compact. Look at this. I've barely done anything and my gloves starting to rip. These gloves are garbage. Junk. And when they start, they don't stop. No, they don't. Well, everybody, that's going to wrap today's video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.